This video is gonna be so long. <laughs> my tool bag video for this giant um hundred dollar tool bag i think it was 99 dollars and then it was like 10 something at lowe's and it is from tough built and then when you open up the handle like this there's these velcro straps at the top so you can strap the velcro onto the handle to keep the bag open. No particular order, I have, the first thing I'm gonna show is my needle nose pliers, the smaller Nipex pliers, bigger Nipex pliers. And I love these because as compared to the channel locks, it's much thinner. I do still have the channel locks, but I don't carry it around anymore. Empire level. My electrical tools, a voltage pen from Klein Tools and a a uh, wire stripper, wire cutter from Klein Tools as well. Tin snips from DeWalt. A little mini hammer that I got from Harbor Freight. This was just like $5 from what I recall. And it's great. I don't carry around a mallet. Um, you don't need to put a lot of pressure when you're putting like tapping wooden dowels into things or something like that. And this is great because instead of just a regular mallet with just that pounding option, you still have this part to remove nails. Regular pliers vessel i think is the brand um screwdriver yeah vessel screwdriver it's like an ergonomic handle or something like that i just carry one chisel i have two other chisels that are bigger i think yeah look at this it's like all crooked <laughs> that made us slotted phillips star square hex and Phillips, number one and number two, 37 pieces in here, which is so great. I used the biggest size of the sockets for TV mounting too. Rovi laser level. This one suctions when you turn it on like this part does. This is great. I don't use it as often anymore, um, but yeah, if you have to level out somewhere that is much farther in distance. This is great because you can actually suction it to the wall sometimes and leave it there and then mark the line way farther if you have to. I also just carry a dirty spatula, a cheap one from the dollar store just in case. Just a little tub of spackling. This is just like the regular one that comes pink. The putty comes pink. It's kind of old already, so it's like really light pink. But when you first get it, it's quite bright. I mismatched. Knee pads, <laughs> they're both from Husky. These are the original ones that I had, but the Velcro became so weak. It's not even sticking at all anymore. Maybe the Velcro part ripped. I don't know what happened, but yeah, so I just sewed a um, button and cut this part a little bit. So I just button it over. And then this, these are my new pairs. I lost one side of this, so I bought this one. And then I actually forgot it in one of my clients' house. So I just wear this. This is like a hard shelled one. And this is like a soft one. Jewelry case. I know you could buy like an actual tooled, like screw plastic accessory case or whatever. But I actually got this, found this under like jewelry cases on Amazon. And it's from the brand Creative Options. And basically here I have like wire nuts, wooden dowels that i just started to accumulate like they always give one extra one on ikea from ikea um like ikea related extra things i have a nine volt battery for my sod finder have some earplugs i also started recently carrying around painter's putty so that if i hang up a painting and even though it's level because it's so light it kind of moves and if i'm doing like a gallery wall and i need that first one to just like stay while i measure the distance between the the first one and the second one i'll put this tiny little tiny little piece of this underneath 
electrical tape, a tiny level in case like I can't put my regular level onto a space because it's too small. A tiny screwdriver that I got from an IKEA piece. I wanted you to feel this way about me. I can't fit it wide ways into the bag, so I have to carry it vertical. Some gloves so I don't get a huge cardboard paper cut. DeWalt drill driver. Comes with one extra battery, so I just put that in here. Put my DeWalt battery charger in here as well. On my apron, which is like the best thing to have when you're just trying to move as quickly as you can. Whatever drill bits I'm using at the time, or if I'm just doing furniture assembly, and then I'll just put like tiny hardware in here that's like so hard to go back to the box area to go grab again. One small, at least one small clean towel and like a bigger towel to like lay down all the hardware once it's out of the bag. In the zipper pouch part, I put this, which is like a bag of extra Ziploc bags that I've just started to accumulate from jobs. And the manufacturer provided extra hardware. Instead of putting it back into the bag I just ripped open or whatever, or cut open, I can just actually have a Ziploc bag ready for them. 120 grade um, sandpaper. This is like an attachment for my multi-tool, but I bought like a huge pack of replacement sandpaper. So I just keep one out so for when I like, before I patch up a wall with spackling. The saw attachment for my multi-tool, and then also the an Allen wrench to replace the attachments and then some sandpaper in different grades. My skill rotary masonry drill bit set. I'm missing so many because I've already broken so many. <laughs> but you know what? I'm so new at this. I'm learning so it's fine. If I have to buy a whole new set, I will. Like a really tiny set of like band-aids and antiseptics and like bad news of different sizes which is really great little notebook that i have almost destroyed completely basically like i rip out the pages that i already written down and you know i don't need to know about it for the next job but yeah if I, the client has like a long list of things we'll go walk around go through them and take little notes like okay this is the height they want this whatever a 60 dollar stud finder from zircon this is great it takes a nine volt battery this that's that in the pouch and then the last thing on the inside i also put a little um mini dustpan and mini broom because after you do the job you want to leave the client's home as clean as when you had first gotten there so i just sweep up little drywall powders or whatever and i actually put it in one of the side pockets here and then i just vacuum that up when i get home i forgot one more thing that i put on the inside is my Milwaukee titanium bit set. I actually broke so many of them, especially the smaller ones. This one is like the right uh, Roby one that I have. Um, I have like spade bits from the Roby, Roby um, brand, but I keep, I don't keep that in my tool bag because I don't use spade bits or like bits in that huge size too often sometimes so, it'll go in right you cut through the drywall but the stud is like a little bit far so even if you are drilling a hole on a where there is a stud it won't reach it because the drill bit is too short so i like having a longer size 1 8 bit so i have that um i have 9 64th i still have a lot of sizes <laughs> but i am missing a lot of the little ones because i broke it moving on um, to how i organize the front pockets so we are still in covid times and i have a few clients that are extreme like germaphobes so i still wear my gloves don't worry i just wash my hands sometimes i have to wear like three layers of gloves because i'm just ripping through them but you gotta do what you gotta do I like to just wear shoe guards, just a random size. This is apparently six inches only. Adjustable wrench, a random white nail polish. I found I find that most of my furniture assembly jobs, the items are white. So it's just good to have this one little thing. I have an eraser, random spray bottle. It used to have like some kind of hair product, but I've since used it up and washed it. And now I have um, 
this yellow solution, which is called LA is Totally Awesome. I think you can get it at the 99 cent store. If you just make like a black mark on there, a black scratch, this thing will wipe it off. That's why I carry around that white towel. Furniture repair markers in oak and cherry. In this like little clip area, I put my headlamp. I never meant to hurt you, so let's leave this place. These are actually slots too, but it's so tight. Like I can't put anything in there. Clip option here. So there I put my 25 feet lever lock Stanley measuring tape. Cause it has that little clip option. Beautiful. Scissors and my Husky box cutter. That's like really getting torn up. I just brought um, new blades for this, so a bit lastly, sunny bump stuff and I sweep it up and put it in there and then at the end of the day I'll just vacuum it out from this pocket. This is where I put my business cards. I'm not gonna put it in now because my contact info is in there. But I just put like I don't know, maybe like five, eight in there so that I can it's not too too tight and I could just slip it out, give it to the client before I leave. Four regular wooden pencils and a lead pencil just in case. Stick everything in this super tight spot that is above so that it stays tight and I can just easily grab whatever pencil that I need. Sharpie, sometimes you're like, you need to mark a hole on masonry or something and it's just so hard to see pencil markings on there. So it's good to just have a Sharpie. iPhone card charger thing, this is from the Square. And I think that completes the um, tool bag tour. This is the last thing I don't always carry around with me, but larger levels are more reliable, at least for me and how I use it, than a laser level. So this has been great. This is just like the perfect size. Usually when I have to bring my giant level for something, it's probably because I'm hanging something higher. So I'll do this. Put my ladder up here, which will stay. And then just like roll up in there, get the job done. <laughs> but yeah, that concludes this video. It's gonna be so long, so I'm gonna peace out. Thanks for watching. Happy Halloween. For the night, right all night for the night.